important and efficient of the public services is the transport undertaking. The department, under the control of the town council through its transport committee, is financially self-supporting. And this film has been made to illustrate how the undertaking serves the people of this industrial metropolis of the Northeast. The cheerful green of the corporation buses is more and more becoming an essential part of the Sunderland scene. First of all, let's consider the actual territory served by the department. The county borough of Sunderland extends from Whitburn in the north and Hilton in the west to Ryup in the south. Horse-drawn trams appeared in the streets of Sunderland as early as 1875, but it was in 1900 that the corporation started operating the first electric trams. The fleet consisted then of 50 vehicles, and the number in service rose steadily to a maximum of 91. The tram services covered these routes. The advent of the motor bus enabled the service area to be extended in step with the demand. Many people had a regard for the homely tram, and some were sorry to see them disappear from the streets. They gave first-class service to the public for many years, but the costs of operation and the problem of present-day traffic congestion have proved them to be unsatisfactory compared with other forms of public transport. The trams were finally taken out of service in 1954, and most people were relieved to see the unsightly overhead wires removed. As the tram lines disappear, work is in hand to provide better road services. The pride of the transport department for many years, the faithful tram, has now been eclipsed by the motor bus. At present, the fleet of buses owned by the corporation numbers nearly 200, and the regular routes cover 64 miles of roads. Corporation buses altogether run more than 5 million miles each year. During the year's running, over half a million gallons of fuel oil are consumed. 85 million tickets are issued. This is the actual pile of tickets which will be used in one day in Sunderland. Some of these passengers may be amongst the 7,000 absent-minded people who leave their personal property in the buses each year. Somebody must feel very down in the mouth about this. He apparently hasn't missed them either. The fares you pay represent extremely good value for money. 